actually impossible that it's anything else now. Unless I, they swap around, it, it's got to be burning on it, this game. Melini was right with these points, though. Yes, like, the Naga Siren is very heavily countered by the... For Ferrari, but they already whiffed the stun from Arteezy. If that one lands, that could be the first shot. Shot on bottom, Norton into a snowball, face in trouble. Zai's right behind him. First flight goes to Zai. Burning wants revenge. He's got four one charges available. So you can deal with both Naga Song as well as the Thailander Ravage. And um, what other damage is really going to come your way? Probably not much. S4, Bates on the front lines. Chuan, L2, Plaza, Field, and Zai right in the back. Here comes your Ravage from Luo. It's heavily. S4's already down, and joining him is Zai. Not the greatest initiation, and Puppy's on the way back out. Ferrari, great chase, finds Puppy. And it's a double kill for Ferrari. Really, really good jump in there from Luo getting that Ravage. And one on Zai. So none on Razor, who has bought the Ogre Club. So S4 needs to decide now if he wants to buy his eggs or build up for the BKB. Looking for something here. Puppy wants to be the frontliner. Oh. And he jumped it. Maybe there's enough. Chuan getting stunned up to start with. Puppy being thrown back, but Chuan already down for the count. The Song of the Siren. Zai can be isolated here because he has the BKB up. They can stare, and Ferrari has the Sonic Wave as well as having that Hex, but not enough life to really stay on the front lines. And now the Yule Sapper up. Saving Lina was a, pro it was a, a self Yule. Ah, oh, it's easy. The Paul Snowball carving apart RG's life until the Sonic Wave combo. S4 kept alive by the Glimmer Cave. Defensive disruption and Snowball. They can't even find a target to hit. The Snowball up and around. I think he's got lost. It's Three heroes back under the tier four towers from the house secret will basically lay claim to the IG base. The boys are for a kill, the tie down as well. It is only Ferrari, the only man alive. He comes back up for the stream. Wants Arteezy, claims Arteezy, but he'll lose his life for this one. He's so far out, blink one second, and he doesn't have time. Sean's back to all the living two. But what a cost to defend. They lose so many. And these BKBs, out comes the song. Roshan at 2k life. They're coming in. Remember, there's no Ravage. Would be a good anchor smash in this area. Ferrari, Sonic Wave still on cooldown too. Tides of Field, Kuro's low. And where is your damage output? Chorn's already gone down. Artigas on the BKB. Bernie gets mopped up. Kuro's is inside the pit. They're taking out three. There is just no reaction from IG. They set up, but had no follow through. Where was the damage meant to come from? To work with, and there's a fresh Desolator over on Zai. The Yule Zephyr Arteezy, that's his new little baby. And Burning trying to battle directly up against him. Arteezy, he's out of mana for the moment. Bloodstone will start to regenerate bit by bit, but he'd like just the Aegis Demol to pop if he can just soak up a little bit more damage here from Invictus Gaming. In comes Zai with a BKP. He's killed off Luo. He has to buy back. The Ravage is available, but Ferrari blinks away. 100 life. Arteezy's still on the front lines and still is holding on to this Aegis Demol. Not to mention your scepter. They get through the melee ranks and secret don't need to stick around here any longer unless they're searching for kills. The range ranks is a little bit of something, but it's not that much. They can just back it up and wait for IG to come to them. Getting them back into it, but the pressure might just be getting to Larry. Be careful. Oh, he's in trouble too. Oh my lord, the burst. The snowball controlled him perfectly. Now Artiz, you know it's exactly what he's up against. Runs in. Secret might be looking for the second lane here. This could be a little bit dangerous. As you said, they have nice. Ravage available. Track is going to be stolen by Chuan. And definitely help them out too as Arteezy going in really aggressively. He just wants to make sure he uses his Aegis. His Faith, he's trying to soak up the Laguna Blade if possible, but the Snowball down! Rubik just gets crushed until now the Ravage comes in. Ferrari with a Sonic Wave with the FD Disruption. Well, Monkey Best 4 alive, but Zai lifting himself out of here. He cannot battle on Luo, but Arteezy, he's the man looking for a watch of Aegis, the immortal timing, as he just keeps Paul serving through him. Now it's going to pop out. Zai still doesn't want to come back into it, but I cannot easy escape. No BKB charge. Has his own yours after Puppy with the defensive disruption. Gives more Arteezy up in the air. Luo back down to earth. Pulsed over lightning. Luo alive. Six HP dropped down to the last attack. It's going to reach it from the strike. Arteezy with a double kill. And only one player again. It is Ferrari, the last man standing for Invictus Gaming. And soon it's going to be the top racks as the last thing standing inside of Invictus Gaming base. And Kuro's going in for more. The track's on Ferrari. The blink down. The Yule set already onto the track, but a walrus punch. They find Chuan. Maybe this is it. Ferrari's down for the count. You have the leaner, but disruption's already happening. Arteezy has no stun. He evades, though he doesn't display. Down to 69 life, and that's GG. Synchro will be facing evil geniuses in the grand final of ESL1 Frankfurt. Once again, they simply...
I don't know. They just outplayed them again. Absolutely. Phenomenal performance from Team Seifert once again. IG, as mentioned, had one or two questionable decisions that really cost them. But at the end of the day, when you look at these fights and just the the detail that goes into every decision and every move and how they position themselves, Secret just seemed...